good morning uh, we are going on the our fifth unit electromagnetic waves <coughs> today we are going to listen about finding's theorem finding theorem states that the cross product of electric field vector e and magnetic field vector h at any point is a measure of the rate of flow of electromagnetic theory per unit area it is given as p equal to e cross h where p is the binding vector e electric field intensity and h is the magnetic field intensity <coughs> let us <coughs> discuss about binding theorem <coughs> to define the binding theorem here let us we start with del cross e equal to minus do b by do t by faraday's law h into del cross e equal to minus h into do b by do t therefore del cross h equal to do d by do t plus j where current density by this equation we can obtain h dot del cross e minus e dot del cross h equal to minus h dot do b by do t minus e dot do d by do t plus j by applying in the above equation we can rewrite write the equation del dot e cross h as minus h into do b by do t minus e dot do d by do t plus j by simplifying these equations we can earn h do b by do t is equal to h into mu do h by do t this can be written as e dot do e by do t equal to half into do e square by do t similarly h dot do h by do t is equal to half into do h square by do t by substituting these in the above equations we can obtain the rate of decrease of waves that is the point in theorem by del dot e cross h equal to minus half do by do t into mu h square plus epsilon e square minus e j <coughs> this is the pointing theorem next let us discuss about skin depth it is the depth of penetration of em waves in a medium is called skin depth it the thickness of the conductor is assumed <coughs> by the times of skin depth imagine if your conductor is placed in a cylindrical cell of the, of the same surface the thickness equal to the skin depth with the uniform current density equal to which exceeds at the surface of the actual conductor the total current in the cell and its resistance are equal to the corresponding values in actual conductor therefore the skin depth can be obtained as del equal to lambda by pi sigma mu c <coughs> where del is the skin depth in meters and the r s q resistance per square in ohms c is the velocity mu 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 permeability of free space and 1 by sigma conductivity is given as 1.724 into 10 power minus 8 rho by rho c let us see something about em wave polarization in em wave polarization we are going to discuss about linear polarization and circular polarization in a plane wave the electric field oscillates in the x is a plane the plane in which the electric field oscillates is defined as the plane of polarization the polarization varies with the magnitude and direction let us consider that ex and ey are the electric fields directed along the x and y axis respectively linear polarization can be defined as <coughs> em wave is parallel to the x axis then the wave is said to be linearly x polarized a straight wire and a parallel to x axis could generate this type of polarized wave suppose e has both ex and ey components where are in phase having different magnitudes the magnitudes ex and ey reach the maximum and minimum value simultaneously so at any point on the positive z axis the ratio of the magnitudes both component is constant this is called linear polarization it can be obtained 
the angle resultant angle b theta equal to tan inverse of e y by e x circular polarization if the two planes e y and e x are of equal in amplitude but it has 90 degree phase difference in linear polarization there is no phase difference but here it have 90 degree phase difference then the resulting wave is circularly polarized it is also described if the amplitude of any one component gradually increases then the amplitude of other component gradually decreases thus magnitude of resultant vector e vector is a constant at any instant of time but the direction is the function of angle between the amplitudes e y and e x at any instant this results the elliptical polarization Consider that the electric field has both components E x and E y which are not equal in amplitude and are not in phase. If the, if the amplitude are not equal and the phases are not equal then it is said to be elliptical polarization. These are about EM waves. Thank you all.